Hello and welcome to our session on running databases, Oracle databases on bare metal solutions in Google Cloud. Oracle databases have been the cornerstone of enterprise applications for a long, long time. And as and when the, the enterprises are going on a modernization journey, they still have a significant amount of the database estate running on Oracle. And when they think about modernizing and transforming their business, they have one big question, what should we do with the Oracle databases? What's the best place to run those Oracle databases? And like most of the enterprise workloads, we think the best home for all our enterprise applications is Google Cloud. And in this session, we'll spend some time how you can bring all your Oracle workloads to Google Cloud and gradually transform them to cloud native and to uh, cloud native databases or for certain use cases, if you want to be on Oracle databases, you can be as long as your enterprise application needs them to be. So what do you provide in doing this? Our flagship offering here is what we call bare metal solutions, which offers state-of-the-art certified infrastructure that is precision tuned for running the Oracle databases. We spare no compromise. You can run all Oracle supported versions you can run all Oracle options, including Rack and Active Data Guard and database in memory and multi-tenant and you name it. You maintain the same licensing primitives as you have today in your on-premises environment. And you get unrestricted access to all Google services within less than two milliseconds of latency. In most regions, we clock less than a millisecond latency. At the same time, all of this is provided by Google. The uh, infrastructure support is driven by Google on an SLA platform on Google's terms of service. So let's go a little bit more in deep of what bare metal solutions bring for you and how you can benefit, or how your enterprise can benefit from this innovative solution. At a high level, what we are trying to provide is state-of-the-art compute and storage connected with a low latency interconnect to Google Cloud. These compute and storage are certified by uh, Oracle. You can see and find them in Oracle hardware certification lists. Uh, we use both Sequana servers from Atos and NetApp for NetApp NVMe and NetApp all this storage here. We see three common templates that customers use. First, they want to bring their application and database together. Second, they want to use their databases in Google in bare metal solutions and applications running in, in GCE or GKE. For all these cases, uh, we think our uh, low latency interconnect and access to all GC, GCP services is a key differentiator. At the same time, we provide an automated tool pack, which is based on Ansible. We have open sourced it that uh, automates your day-to-day -day Oracle administration task. I'll talk a little bit more about that as we go in this presentation. So you would, you would have saw in the last picture that these servers are in a region extension. You can think, what is a region extension? Uh, it's not a very innovative name, as it says. We extend our region a little bit outside of the Google data center, maintaining the same networking primitives and providing a region for our customers to host applications that were not natively written for the cloud, such as the Oracle databases or some SAP applications as such. In the bare metal solutions, um, one thing that uh, Google provides on our SLA is a 4.9 SLA for the interconnect between us and the G between bare metal solutions and GCP. At the same time, we provide a 3.9 SLA for everything that runs within that region extension. So all your Oracle databases will be hosted in an infrastructure that is three nines. Later in the presentation, we will see how we use this infrastructure to deploy every configuration of Oracle maximum availability architecture, right from bonds to gold. And I'll spend some time on those configurations as well. So uh, let's discuss a little bit of a design tenants before we go there. Uh, what are our guarantees or what are our assurance for you when we design this system is uh, we wanted to keep as much as of the on-premises primitives that you have in a cloud-like environment. This gives you two advantages. First, you can move as is. It makes your lift and shift uh, much simpler. Second, all your runbooks and playbooks 
and the support books that you have written over the period of time uh, will apply as is in this environment. Additionally, there are commercial benefits to this in which you inherit your own on, on premises licensing, licensing primitive, depending on what, con what type of contract relations you have. And at the same time, you can connect your Oracle databases to all your applications running in GCE seamlessly. Um, once an application is running in GCE, the database and bare metal solutions, uh, no, there's no difference from an application perspective. And the application perceives that this is running inside your own data center with a slightly higher latency in the orders of a few hundred uh, microseconds to a millisecond. Uh, at the same time, you can use the Google's uh, interconnects to connect to any application running anywhere else. So say if you have some applications sitting in your on-premises data center and you want to connect them to the applications running in GCE and the databases and bare metal solutions, you can do that, vice versa. And if you want to, con if applications are running in AWS or Azure, they can also talk to databases running in bare metal and other portions of applications running in GCE and GKE. Not only that, all our partner managed services are also available here. So if you have a managed partner you work with, you can use them either through our uh, our uh, GCP marketplace or to your own uh, system integrator uh, contracts you might have, and they will manage this offering as is it was running on your premises uh, on your terms. Where are all the available? Today, everything that you see in green is GA. We are live in 10 sessions, uh, 10 uh, locations. Uh, whatever is a light blue is where we are coming in the next three to six months. And what was in dark blue, we are coming at the end of this year. So as you see, we'll be there wherever you are running your workloads, uh, most like and most preferably also in Seoul uh, by summer of this year. Uh, what do you get in addition to infrastructure? You also, or the entire services offers on Google Terms of Service. So if something goes wrong, you call us uh, on infrastructure issues. And, Many a times when you are debugging an issue with Oracle, you will need some assistance on the infrastructure side too. We have constructed, we have hired a world-class 24-7 Oracle, ex Oracle expertise uh, to help you debug, debug those issues. So our support people, our support engineers supporting this effort do our Oracle experts and they will help you triage the solution when you uh, initiate your support tickets with Oracle for a database issue running in our system. That, without much ado, let's go a little bit deeper into what do we offer and how uh, how best it fits a database needs. Uh, we offer a variety of servers. So our smallest server starts from an eight core system targeted for uh, minimizing your Oracle footprint. So say if you have a handful of apps and you have a handful of Oracle licenses, this machine is the perfect for you and we range all the way to the higher end of a 112 core machine with three terabytes of contiguous RAM. This is where you are coming off, say, a Spark Supercluster or IBM PC, a big RM machine where you have a need for lots of cores and contiguous memory, even Exadata 8 socket machines. This is your perfect target for that. Uh, the beauty of a database system or the performance of a database system comes from the storage it runs on most. And we have a fully tuned storage offering from the built on NetApp. We offer two flavors of storage uh, and all flash storage based on NVMe for your production workloads. And then all disk storage also from NetApp for your backups or other ancillary needs you have. All of them are sold in a subscription basis. Um, and the minimum increments for storage is one terabyte. The minimum increment for a server is a single server. And you can buy any combinations of servers and any combination, oh, sorry, you can subscribe to any combination of servers or any combination of storage as your application might need. From a technology perspective, we use latest and the greatest Intel Cascade Lake servers. We support almost all enterprise class operating systems and, in the Linux category, Red Hat, be it Red Hat, be it uh, SUSE, be it Oracle Linux. At the same time, we support Microsoft Windows, 
uh, as an operating system choice as well. Each and every network component in the servers are redundant. Our servers are diskless. They boot off a shared storage array. And hence and so forth, if a server goes down, the new, the new server that takes in has no state information, and it inherits the state information from the shared storage. Similarly, our storage is configured to give you optimal performance based on NetApp's guidance for past 20 years that they have been running Oracle databases or even more than that. Um, you can subscribe to, to the performance characteristics of the NetApp storage in the same way as you do capacity. So with every terabyte of capacity you add, we add more performance. You can go all the way up to 400,000 IAPs. Our storage is internally is set up for, for five nines, which means we can upgrade the storage, we can do maintenance on the storage, we can uh, service parts on the storage without the database having any up, any outage or any disruption of service. So it does allows you to have a higher available database given that the storage is so resilient. Similarly, our interconnect between GCP and BMX is a 4.9 interconnect and a U, you know, 4.9 availability interconnect and you as a customer, all you have to choose is a bandwidth and no egress or ingress charges between uh, GCP and BMS. Moving forward a little bit, I touched about this a little bit in our previous slide. We support almost all industry standard operating systems, industry standard popular uh, operating systems. At the same time, we support hyper technologies like OVM. If you're running VMware, our preferred engine, our preferred choice would be GCBE. Let's go a little bit more in detail on the storage aspect. Uh, today, we support block storage, and very soon we'll be supporting file storage, and uh, uh, probably at the end of this quarter, so that you'll be able to do NFS operations on storage as well, required for some particular SAP apps. If, as a customer, you have need for backup or blob storage, an all disk option is better. Otherwise, all database storage goes to our all NVMe option. It's connected to redundant SAN multiple HBAs, multiple switches, no single point of failure between databases and storage. Let's talk a little bit more about how you can use GCS. A lot of our customers have uh, requirements in which they want to keep, uh, retain their backups for quicker restores for the last for one week to a month locally, and then they want to ship things to tape or things seem to offsite. We offer similar facility here. You can keep the backups for as long as you want on the all disk storage in the in the region extension, and use GCS for your long term retention. I will talk a little bit about it in the presentation how we use our latest acquisition, Active here, which is a game changer when it comes to database availability. Uh, one thing, uh, one very interesting aspect of this when we talk about managed storage, all your operating system volumes and runs. We snapshot automatically every day and maintain that snapshot for a week at no extra cost. Similarly, our databases, you can choose for us to back up uh, every day or at your schedule, and there'll be an incurred storage capacity cost, but it will be minimal to the amount of changes that you do. So what do you get out of this performance? So, uh, we've done our internal benchmarking. Uh, what we see is the performance linearly scales for OLTP and the performance linearly scales for data warehousing as well. Uh, we are able to get hundreds of thousands of IAPs at a consistent latency of less than one millisecond, uh, much faster than what you will see in uh, other cloud storage platforms. At the same time, uh, we do not, our compute platform is able to exhaust or able to consume all the bandwidth and all the capacity of storage has to perform, and we don't see a bottleneck between, as and as shown by this chart, we don't see a bottleneck between our compute and storage in this context. One of the key elements of our offering is how our managed network or managed interconnect makes things seamless for customers to run applications in GCE or GKE and connect with databases in BMS. The core technology here is Google's partner, partner interconnect, which is fully managed by us. 
uh, we make sure the routing is appropriate. We make sure we maintain the latency. We make sure that all our applications can seamlessly access uh, the databases. At the same time, this integrates with your global VPC. So all uh, you can easily construct things like an active data guard standby, a golden gate replica in your region or in any other region in the world with matter of a few clicks and never ever have to go to a network admin for uh, such configurations. Huge problem solver for a lot of our database administrative community. Uh, one slight caveat of how everything is accessed, Everything in the region, ex ex uh, region extension is accessed via Google Cloud, which makes sure we inherit all the security tenants of the Google Cloud. So all the access to region extension is fully secure. And uh, even though it's a multi-tenant environment, each tenant gets its own segregated infrastructure from a network compute and a storage perspective. To sum it all, what we offer here, if uh, what you see uh, on the stack chart is a regular uh, stack that you run today in BMS, we offer your SAN, your SAN infrastructure, we offer all the break fix that a hardware will need, we offer, uh, we, we manage bias and firmware, we take care of your network connectivity and we manage some aspects of security. From an OS and a database standpoint, uh, that is a customer responsibility, uh, but we provide automation to help with the database lifecycle management, as well as we provide gold images so that you can manage all your operating system images across your fleet as one and be able to upgrade them, update them, make sure your security patches are applied in a very seamless manner across hundreds of servers. On, on the infrastructure side, like I mentioned before, our, we offer anywhere from eight core to 112 cores anywhere between 200 gigs to 3 terabyte DRAM, all with all flash NVMe and all disk for backups and blob storage. So that kind of wraps up the technical overview of what the offering is. I'll contrast a little bit of what this, how this compares to when you go to AWS or Azure, and then we will go deep in how some of the Oracle, um, Oracle configurations map to what we have here. So, if you look at what you get in AWS and Azure environments, most of their offerings are running on VMs uh, and cloud storage, which is not as performant as bare metal, as well as uh, NetApp and VME storage that we offer here. The cost advantages as we can inherit the on-prem licensing, not the cloud licensing. And also we keep up with the silicon trend of on-premise hardware. So all the latest and the greatest chips, when as soon as they come out, we try to make them available here. Right now, we are running on Cascade Lake. Right now, we are running on tier one and VME storage. Similarly, uh, the uh, uh, similarly all the Oracle options that you use. So say that if you use Rack for high availability, you use uh, in memory for analytics. All those uh, operations are all those options are applicable here. You can implement them, which probably might not work in a public cloud environment, given the technology limitation, which technologies like Rack I need. Um, a lot of you run Oracle for your mission critical environments and high availability is important to you. And we understand that. And we'll go through in a little bit more detail how we give that high, similar high availability that you're used to in this solution. First and foremost, as you all know, Oracle has a very well thought out architecture for availability, which they call as maximum availability architecture, MAA, which defines tiers for bronze, silver, gold, and we'll map those tiers in this in our setup. As you can see, we can use uh, uh, bronze is very simple. You can have local backups and you can use a thing, technology like TIF here to replicate backups. This gives uh, you uh, phenomenal RPO for most of the cases, and RTOs will vary depending on what kind of outage you are occurring. Similarly, uh, you can implement Oracle Rack to meet your MAA Silver architecture, which, or you can also meet the same with having an in-region data guard. In doing so, if you have things like a recoverable node failure or instance failure, you will not lose any data, and you'll be able to recover your instance within a few seconds. If you're using RAG and within a min minute, if you're using data guard. Similarly, if you're hitting issues like site failures and corruptions, 
in most cases, the RPA would be less than uh, what till you will be equivalent to how when you back up your last archive logs. And similarly, your RTO would be depending on how far, uh, how long does it take to restore your archive logs and back to the database. But for most plant maintainers that you are used to, uh, you'll incur almost zero RPO and your RTO will be fairly quick as well in line with what Oracle uh, MAA Silver uh, demands for or uh, defines for its customers. Let's get more interesting and see how we can do MAA goal. So MAA goal is very interesting because it makes uh, it calls for Oracle Rack and Data Guard in parallel, which you can apply here. A global VPC uh, really helps customers to set up the link between region extension one and region extension two matter of few clicks. Uh, at the same time, you can still leverage replicated backups. You can still leverage. Oracle Rack within a region extension and use our automation tool pack to implement it. Uh, let's get a little bit more interesting. You can even do a Rack with in region data guard with replicated backups, with uh, 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 connected all through uh, Google Cloud and meet all your RPO, RTO requirements that your applications might demand. Um, we have financial institutions running the, their databases in bare metal. We have travel agencies running the databases in bare metal. We support one of, uh, we have a customer running 120 core Oracle Rack system uh, in bare metal. So any workload that you can think of or probably come across, our customers are running those in our environment. And we, if you are interested in this, we're happy to go deep reach out to us through, the, or through your local sales team, and we'll be happy to spend as much time as required. You, as you, some of you guys might know that we acquired our, well, our company called Lectifio, which was a market leader when it comes to data protection, specifically for relational databases. And we have integrated the Lectifio technology with demo solutions as well. So what the Lectifio technology gives you, first and foremost, say, Goodbye to full backups. It's an incremental forever backup technology, which allows you to uh, take your backups. So one, you take one full backup and then you keep it updated all the time. It's also a paradigm shift of how you uh, do restores. Since you have an uh, incremental forever approach, you can go in any point in time of your data and quickly switch over to uh, in case of disaster or even in case of test and depth. At the same time, the test and dev active field champions and a technology called uh, copy data management, which allows you to give a, one big visual of all the, of the databases and their backups in the system, as well as which allows you to manage their copies effectively without creating multiple copies of the same data set. Um, reducing the number of copies have two advantages. The first advantage, of course, is you run le you need less storage. But the bigger advantage is it's more secure. The fewer copies of data that you have, uh, uh, if, if you go and look back, most of the data breaches happens from leftover test dev databases. And if with active fears copy data management, you have a very strong hold of all your copies of the database. And hence, you can implement a much more secure a mechanism for such implementations. Now let's take Active here and see what happens in this the environment we talked about earlier. I will look something like this. You will run an Active here software appliance in the region extension. You will still take your local backups to your, uh, your NetApp or disk storage, which will keep your backups for one to seven days. And the rest changes will be shipped to Google Cloud, which where you in, uh, uh, where you enjoy the benefit of uh, durability with Google File System as well as cost. And you can keep your old retention copies in Google Cloud when wherever your hard copies that you need to restore quickly locally. So you, you can get the benefit of both worlds in such a setup. Now, you know, Gramit, you have talked a lot about all the technology and all the options I got, but how do I get my data there? So again, uh, in lines with Oracle's uh, principles, we support every native Oracle management tool. You can bring it through RMAN, you can bring through data, data pump, you can, if you're using database 12, you can do transportable table services, 
You can send BMS as a data guard or an active data guard target, or you can use Golden Gate for this. At the same time, all Google native migration tools also work. You can use GCS buckets. You can use transfer appliances. You can use dedicated interconnect to do that, or whatever you use today in GC GCS also do this. And if you want to use third party or not Google tools, with it, you can use ActiveQ to do a shift into. We have partnership with Stream. You can use Stream to move the data or any other partner of your choice, as long as it can write to an object store and read from an Oracle database. It's going to work with Google Cloud. Uh, a very simple example here would be I'm running my data set databases on premises. Either I take a backup and ship the backup to cloud storage and restore from there, or I do a data pump to Google GCS bucket and restore, repopulate my database from there, or I can set a data guard target in bare metal and uh, a ship redo and then catch up and then fail over there, or I use transfer appliance to do the same as I've done for our on backup or a data pump. Uh, what happens as as for life cycle from a DBA perspective? As a DBA, their life cycle doesn't change at all. All the tools that they're used to using, SQL Pass, Enterprise Manager, SQL Developer, uh, they still can use all of them. At the same time, they also can benefit from, from Google monitoring of infrastructure and Google monitoring of storage and, the, uh, and Oracle's traditional tools, which they're very familiar with. One very key innovation that we have brought in here is since you are able to access all your applications and all Google services in one view, you can run your transactional or operational databases on Oracle in bare metal and use that to feed your analytical and decision support systems running in BigQuery with, and Looker as an engine on top in Google in real time. And uh, 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 quite a few of our customers are doing this. And if you're interested, we'll be happy to show a few demos. We have developed some tooling around it. We have partnered with a company called Google around it. So there's a whole ecosystem that helps take your operational data as is from an Oracle database running in bare metal to a cloud native analytics platform like BigQuery running in, in GCP. That kind of wraps up all I had to share here. And thanks for giving uh, your time and attention. Uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, via your Google sales team. And thank you for your time. Or how people say in Korean, gamsa hamdina. <laughs>